Hello, first graders, and welcome back to another day of distance learning. Uh, let's jump right into it. Our IB connection for this month is open-minded. An open-minded scholar respects all cultures and grows from opportunities to consider different points of view. The thinking job answers, believe it or not, I have a journal that I record different things that happen to me, but I mostly write about my birthday and different holidays. I love spending the holidays with my family, so I like to write about it as well. Um, I had a great time reading some of your answers as well. The majority of you have diaries that you like to write in for fun. I read aloud for this week, The Secret Diary of a Wolf. It is written and illustrated by Felicia Law and Leslie Danson. So let's jump right on into it. I know we stopped here, but I like to, you know, reread the last page just in case you guys may have forgotten what had happened. So it says, on Tuesday, he went to choir practice with the rest of the wolf pack. The wolves got into a huddle and howled. Some howled the high notes, while some howled the low note ones. It helped if there was a full moon. Somehow, they all howled better. And over here it says, Tuesday, choir, practice, bark, choral, chorale, however you want to say it. So there's those two words again, howled. Howled is the, to make a long, loud sound. And the next definition, choral, chorale, um, a song sung by a choir or in this book's case, a wolf or wolves. On Wednesday, it was the wolf's birthday. He sent himself a card and bought himself a present. That way, he knew his birthday wouldn't be forgotten. Wednesday, today is my birthday and I got a card and a present. It was a lovely sheepskin coat, and I looked great in it. Just like a sheep, it was my best birthday ever. So I want you to think about your best birthday ever. What did you do? Where did you go? Who was there? What did you eat? What did you have on? Think about your best birthday ever. All right, while you have thought about your best birthday ever, let's look at that, uh, this word, sheepskin. Sheepskin is the skin of a sheep or leather made from it. Now, in our book last week, um, we talked about, we didn't necessarily call it sheepskin, but what is it when the farmer shears the what? When the, the farmer, he shears the what off of the sheep? the wool. Awesome job. So in this book, it's talking about sheepskin, but we're familiar with wool. Good job. On Thursday, Little Red Riding Hood came knocking. Wolfie, she called. Will you come out and play? We're going to stop right here. Pioneers, it's attendance time. I want you to tell me um, when your birthday is, something simple. Tell me when is your birthday? Only the pioneers only. When is your birthday? This is for attendance. All right, we're going to get back to it. Wolfie, will you chase me through the woods? Will you gobble up my granny? Will you put on her nighty and hide in her bed? There's those two uh, words. We're going to look at gobble. Gobble is to swallow or eat greedily. It looks like this young man over here is gobbling up all these burgers and fries. And then our next word is nighty. And a nighty is a nightgown or basically pajamas. 
So that concludes the end of our book for today for your thinking job. I want you to think about why was Wednesday so important for the wolf? And why do you think he sent himself things on Wednesday? Think about it. Look forward to hearing your answers on tomorrow or today. (laughs) Talk to you later. Bye-bye.